Hey, welcome back to another Legacy Project. Today we're gonna to be focusing on the mailbox post, and this was made on the Maverick CNC machine. It features an address sign, and we'll also come back to this project in the future where we can add additional signs here for holidays or any events that you want to celebrate or show here in your front yard. So let's jump into the shop and show you how it's done. The first cutter it's asking for is a two inch diameter V cutter uh, used to chamfer the, the square corners for us. Uh, so let's do that tool change and get her started. Now the second cutter it's asking for is the inch and a quarter surfacing cutter. Okay, the third cutter it's asking for is our classic spiral cutter. Last cutter it's asking for is our three inch diameter rope twist cutter, and that will finish off this project. Next, we're gonna to jump to our three axis table. And here we're going to be producing our left and right support rails for the mailbox. So at the tool change position, it's gonna be asking for our half inch end mill or straight cutter. Now we'll just repeat that process for the right side and then we'll be able to actually glue and finish our project. The last part we're gonna produce here on the three axis table is going to be our address sign. The first cutter it's asking for is our 90 degree V cutter. So let's do a tool change. The second cutter it's asking for is a quarter inch end mill or straight cutter. Now we'll just flip it over end for end long ways um, to do side two and it will run the exact same process except it will have a third cutter, a half inch straight cutter to cut out the part completely after it's done side two. So let's flip that and run that next, next program. And there we have our address on both sides. Now 
So we're gonna be applying a urethane and teak oil mixture. So I do 30% urethane and 70% teak oil. Well, here is the mailbox post. All finished, ready to be mounted and set up. First, we're gonna be um, mounting our actual mailbox. That's gonna be done using this base plate. Position that where I want it to be here on the top sections. Um, mark that and then remove the mailbox, clamp the uh, base plate into place, and then line drill and screw that onto the top sections here. Second, we need to hang our address sign. To do that, we went and got some, some brass chain, and we're gonna be spanning two loops of brass chain between the two rails using just some brass hooks. The entire mailbox post will be mounted using this um, mailbox mounting post fixture. So let's get those three things completed. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in a couple of things, first being the mailbox post plans and files, uh, you can jump over to our website. There you can also find two other items. You can also find the low pro clamps on our store. Uh, those were the clamps that were used throughout this video to lock the parts down to the T-Track table. And three, if you're just looking at our CNC machines or interested in learning more about the CNC machines, just again, jump over to our website by clicking the link right over there. Don't miss out on watching one of our favorite videos, the best CNC machine, by clicking the link right down there. And also subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon and check mark that little notification box if you want to stay notified on upcoming legacy videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.